What is up guys, TechRex here. I just picked up the brand new iPhone X. This is the silver, gorgeous iPhone. And we're gonna be doing the ultimate drop test today. I got the Galaxy S8, the iPhone X. We're gonna do a series of drop tests from five feet side and then front facing drop test. So let's see what happens. Both of these phones are silver and both of them look really, really good to the eye, I gotta say. So let's go ahead and find out what happens. Okay guys, so first up the Galaxy S8 side drop test from 5 feet. Let's go ahead and do this in 3, 2, 1. Okay, so let, let's do a quick little inspection, see what we have here. So I can already see there's a little bit of a shatter. This is on the back of the Galaxy S8. Um, so it's not noticeable on the screen. On the screen, there doesn't seem to be any shatter. There is a little bit of a, just some, a little mark right here on this bottom right hand corner. I'm gonna check the frame. And yes, we do have some scuffs on this corner and this corner right here. So I think the biggest point of impact on this phone is the bottom two little scuffs right here. And then that little shatter. Okay, now the front facing drop test for the Galaxy S8. Let's go ahead and do this in three two, one. Okay, let's take a look at what happened. And boy, this phone is definitely damaged. So we got cracks and shatters all around this right side of the smartphone, on the left here, on the right. In the middle, looks to be okay. Let's take a look at the back. There's one giant crack literally going across the entire smartphone so I mean that really sucks because that's super noticeable um, again phone still functions though it did pass the test as far as you know it's working displays and freezing or anything but you're definitely gonna have damage on this smartphone now so let's move on to the iPhone X now time for the iPhone X this is the silver side drop test in three two one Oof. Man, that did not sound good. Oh my goodness. Are you serious? This is literally like the Galaxy S8. This is so identical. You have literally that hairline shatter right here across that entire back. There's a lot of little cracks on this corner right here. Um, as far as the front, the front survived. So really fortunate with that. Uh, taking a look at some of the corners, I don't see any major scuffs or scratches. Surprisingly, the stainless steel did really good. Um, there's a little bit of a tiny uh, mark right here. You guys can see that? Really, really minor. And now the iPhone X front facing drop test. Guys, the moment of truth. Let's go ahead and do this in three, two, one. Oh man, that was flat on its front slid a little bit but let's check what happened this phone is toast guys this phone is toast there's cracks all across the body of the the surface of the phone let me turn it off so you guys could see a little better there you go you could literally see all that damage the phone still works that's good everything works good and I'm surprised because the uh, even though it landed straight flat on its front, I was expecting maybe a lot more severe, you know, some shatters around here, but it's just a, a few lines. I mean, it's still noticeable. And also the good thing is I don't really feel it on the surface when I'm moving my finger around like this. So I'm not going to, you know, cut myself accidentally or anything like that. But there, the most damage on the front is on this little side right here. Looking at the back, that's the same. Um... As far as the sides, I think that's pretty much it. So, obviously the iPhone X did not survive. There's a little bit more of some scuffs right here on this little stainless steel part on top. I could literally feel that with my finger. But, still some improvement, guys, regardless. So, thanks for watching. As always, stay tuned for more videos and peace 